Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Cold Hetsu Steel, and today let's take a look at Driftland, the Magic Revival. Now this is a strategy game, but unlike most strategy games that I think we've played before, and that it all takes place upon floating islands. Now these islands can be explored and built upon and even moved around using magic. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and hop into Driftland. Single player. So there are three races currently available. There is one in development. I believe it's the dwarves that are still in development. We have the wild elves that are known for their solitary lifestyle and ability to summon ants and golems. Interesting. The humans are the most balanced and probably average, but they have an advanced economy and they can upgrade their castle by an additional level. Interesting. That gives them advantage. And then the cunning dark elves. Looks like they're strong but risky. I think we might go with the humans, just because we'll probably be able to show off a lot of things with the humans. Uh, peace mode, difficulty, empire color, and map size are all good. Let's go ahead and start. Alright, we are in the game world, and it looks like we have a tutorial down in the bottom right. Do not be afraid, young mage. I am one of the eyes of Karhas Muir, an artifact of old, and I wish to aid you in your quest. What quest do I have exactly? And what are you going to teach me? Start with casting Magic Eye in the spell menu. Okay, so these are the spells and abilities that I mentioned a moment ago. What did you just get? This was... Oh, it was a treasure. Okay, interesting. It had wood and stone in it. Nice. And you are a... You're an explorer. Okay. So first, let's cast Magic Eye on this place to get rid of the fog of war. Is looking for a relationship. Uh, me too, buddy. Me too. After that, cast Arcane Currents, alright? So this is the main component of the game, the main gimmick I suppose, is that we can move islands how we please. Uh, well, I guess if there's other islands away, we can't actually do that. But, can we do it to this one? We can. Maybe we'll just move it over here like this, just a little bit. Don't necessarily need it. Next, build a bridge. So this one was actually close enough that we didn't even need to move it at all. That one was probably close enough that we didn't need to move it at all. But let's go ahead and build a bridge here that will allow our units to walk across. I heard that there's actually flying units in the game. Like you can tame creatures and maybe they become flying units or something. Uh, upkeep, co upkeep cost of your buildings will be higher on each consecutive island. Interesting. So the further out it is, the higher the upkeep cost. All right, next up, we're going to use Magic Eye again. Okay, so we'll do it on this one. Instead of a bridge, you can connect islands. Oh, interesting. So we can use a warp gate like this to connect them instead of building a bridge. Now, this is only temporary, obviously. So we want to place an exploration flag. And that costs 10 gold. And once they complete it, that 10 gold probably disappears. I don't know. I would, I would assume so. You should build your first cottage. All right, so we need to increase our population. And these green areas are where we can build. I'm not sure what the... Oh, okay. So we can build in the these areas, but we have to get rid of resources in those areas first, which I don't want to do because I want these resources. So we'll go ahead and put the cottage down here. Next up, uh, do not forget about the upkeep cost. Okay, thank you for reminding me of the thing that you said like 12 seconds ago. We can also increase the speed a little bit. Looks like we have... Mana, or mana, depending on how you pronounce it. Wood, stone, coal, iron, diamond, and ruby. Interesting. Those are some resources I have not seen in many games. Click on the building to learn about its upkeep cost. Yep, that's five per day. And days. Here are the days. Here's how fast they go. Next, we need a farm, because we don't want everybody to die of starvation. This is a good spot. Let's go ahead and speed up a little bit. Area has been explored, and it looks... Oh, nice. He found some more treasure. Okay. Our food reserves are running low. Yes, they are, because we do not have a farm yet. All right. Now we have this slider here, which we can go like this to assign more workers, but that will actually take workers away from the cottage and the castle, which they are currently making money for us. Yes, here they make money for us. Here they also make money for us. Actually, they make a whole bunch more money there. Oh, maybe it's the same amount. It's just there's more citizens here. Okay. Next, we will build another cottage. And we'll put it... Um, uh, sure. Up. Uh, no, we'll put it over here. Go ahead and speed up a little bit. To avoid overpopulation, each island has a limit. Interesting. So if we mouse over this... 
Okay, so if we mouse over it in the upper area, we see two out of two, so only two cottages can be built here. Interesting. Okay, so find the islands with the biggest amount of wood and stone. What does this island have? This. What does this island have? That's English. Um, okay, so we have a lot of stone and a lot of wood over there. What about over here? A lot of wood, not a lot of stone. So next, we want to build a lumberjack. Maybe we'll put it over by the trees? Sounds good to me. And do we need a stone mason next? We'll put that right here. Remember about assigning workers who will gather wood. Yes, we do need those. We'll put one there for now. We don't want to kill our food. Yeah, we don't want to kill this and we don't want to kill our money. Money's incredibly important. Upgrade your castle to tier 2. So if we upgrade to tier 2, I believe we can upgrade other stuff to the next tier. Let's see. Yes, so this requires castle level 2. Go ahead and upgrade this. What is this? Fortify. Okay, so this just increases the HP of it by 500. Maybe that would be important if I were under attack by anything, but I think we're fine right now. After you... Oh, okay, bye. Now you can upgrade your farm. Sounds good to me. And that will make it so it has more hit points, the Fog of War radius. So its eyesight or its line of sight or whatever you want to call it is increased. And more workers can work here. At this point, it would be wise to build your first recruitment structure, a knight garrison. Okay, so what do we have? Knight's garrison, marksman post. So we have some archers and marksmen or something like that. Wizard's Tower. Interesting. So they have spells, it looks like. I'm not entirely sure what kind of spells they have, but let's go ahead and build this first. Do we want to build it over here? I feel like... Yeah, I guess we can build it in the main, the main island here. And with this, we will be able to recruit an army of heroes. I'm not entirely sure how strong these heroes are or what they look like. I only played a little bit just to check if the game ran fine and what it looked like. Start with recruiting your first hero. Recruit a knight. Okay. So this will take a little bit of time. Keep in mind that all your heroes are endowed with free will. That sounds boring. I mean, it, actually, it sounds cool. But, like, from a god game player perspective, I should be able to, like, pick them up and throw them over there. <laughs> uh, let's see. After that, build a blacksmith. Oh, Interesting. So we can do training here. What is he just training like by himself? I thought maybe that gave him experience, but no, he's just being lazy, not doing anything. There are skills in your castle, marketplace, and other buildings too. Your heroes can even find them places on the map. Interesting. So, okay, so this was built. Go here for skills. Uh, what do we want? Regenerates four HP per day. I don't think we need that because they probably re. Well, maybe they don't regenerate on their own. But I think I have... Yeah, I have heal. I could just use this and heal them for 300. I think what we want to do is either armor... Let's actually just go ahead and give them more damage. So we train it like this. And then he goes in here, maybe? Sir? Sir? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, he already grabbed it. Yeah, so pending skills. So when you grab... When you upgrade... The, or excuse me. When you train this, it is pending, and then it has to wait for a knight or whatever to come over here and grab it. So next, recruit and explore. We already have one, though, and he's not doing anything. He's lazy. We'll recruit another one, I guess. And, oh, I forgot about this. Let's assign a worker over here. And maybe we'll upgrade one of our cottages as well. We have a lot of money. After that, place a geology flag. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm gonna make a bridge over to this island. And maybe we'll do the geology over here. That costs 10 gold, and they're going to search for valuable stuff. So coal, iron, gold, mana. You can, like, dig up mana. That's kind of weird. All right, so what do we have over here? And he's training. What is this? Next up is the Path of Progress. So is this kind of a skill tree or, like, progress tree? I don't know if it's actually a tree. So it doesn't look like they're in a hierarchy or anything. Maybe you can just freely choose as you wish? I'm not sure. I mean, I guess when we get more of this stuff, progress points? Progress points are... Okay, you get them from positive actions. Interesting. Positive actions such as grabbing treasure, I suppose? That seems like it was a positive action. So, how's it going? You found some coal. 
great. Uh, next up, I I don't know what is next up. <laughs> he didn't didn't really tell me anything, did he? Okay, so let's go ahead and upgrade another. Let's upgrade this so we can have more population, and then hmm, maybe we'll look at some more islands, like down here. You can kind of see. Okay, gates of Thier spell. Yes, I. I know about the gate spell. Thank you. We used that a moment ago. I don't even think we need to really search this island. We can just probably build a bridge over to it, right? That does not look safe. <laughs> All those lightning bolts. Okay. So you're over there doing your thing. Maybe we should upgrade this. Can we upgrade? Oh, we need castle tier three. But if we do that, we'll be able to recruit more recruits. More knights, I suppose. And then we'll be able to, you know, increase the Fog of War radius, more hit points, and the Recruit tier. Does that mean that they're stronger? I'm not entirely sure. What is this? Wood and Stone. Nice. Okay, so this Explorer is going over here, and this Knight is going over here. Nice. And what about down over here? Let's see what we got going on over on this island. I don't really see anything too special, but we'll go ahead and bring that one closer. Probably use it later. Maybe there's something up here. We have a lot of mana at the moment. So might as well use it to see if there's anything interesting. Okay, so there is a barbarian guarding a treasure that has a lot of experience. Interesting. We'll do another one over here to see what's going on. Okay, so there's the flying units, maybe. So yeah. Okay, so... Uh, Beast is guarding the nest reward you can collect. I'm not sure what that tells me. Maybe we can send your units to attack the nest and you'll be able to tame ravens, flying creatures that can be mounted by all your heroes. Heck yes. So we'll go ahead and move this over here. <laughs> Moves everything with it. That's so weird. So there's gonna be like multiplayer later on. I wonder... Whoa, that does that really does not seem safe. Oh god, is he coming over here? Uh, maybe we should build a bridge. Yeah, probably should build a bridge. Maybe we'll make this and go there so we can get over there instantly so our lumberjack doesn't get destroyed. Okay. Oh, you're nothing. You're a joke. But yeah, there's gonna be like multiplayer and it'd be interesting because I believe... So we have like this circle which is our, you know, circle of influence where our magic can be cast. And, wow, this is, uh, for a medium map, I guess. Eh, maybe it's small, maybe it's large, I'm not really sure. But, be interesting, because I think there are items that can kind of increase your magic influence range. And it'd be interesting to see people, like, bouncing islands back and forth. What other spells do we have? We have Mystical Forming, transform an island into the most hospitable terrain for your race. Interesting, so different races have different biomes, I suppose, that are best for them. Okay, so you got that. Um, can you go over here and, like, capture this? And, okay, or you can attack that. That's fine. Uh, each unit requires a daily wage and gold. Yep. Okay. So, can you go here and can you do something? Thank you! So we can recruit a raven for 50 gold. That's really cheap. So... Does it increase the stats of the hero that's going to mount it or whatnot? So it has 200 hit points. So you have 758. Now if you go ride that, what is going to happen? So because we got into combat, it looks like our our speed slowed down a little bit. Uh, the nest belongs to the Empire, and if you breed there, somebody will hop on it. Let's see what happens here. And then we'll look at the magic once more. Ho ho ho! Cool. So yeah, it did add all the damage and uh, attack range? Maybe not the attack range, but it looks like it added the health and everything. That's really cool. And he can fly, which is incredible. Excuse me, sir, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh! Now he can get over here because we didn't have a bridge before, but now he can make it over there. Interesting. That's nice. Uh, when you're done with that, sir, can you go over here and maybe attack this guy? Because I think uh, there is a... Sword of Trials over there. Maybe you can pull the Master Sword out and, you know, age seven years instantly. Okay, so back to magic. Mystical forming. We talked about that one. Sorceress Plantation. Okay. 
Using your vast knowledge of the last binding, grow it, grow an island. We just like conjure an island. Okay, that's 400 mana though, and it requires castle tier four, and then ritual implosion. Perform a terrifying. Wait, is that? Yeah, that's misspelled. Terrifying ritual, destroying an island. Wow. Okay. And all bridges that were connected to it are also demolished. Well, I would hope so. Okay, what are you doing up here? Yeah, you're fine. Okay, let's do a little bit, bit more of exploring. We have a lot of gold. Maybe we should do some upgrading. So, in order to do this, in order to upgrade this again, Shield of the Emperor. Okay, what did you get? A skill? Looks like you got a skill from that. Shield of the Emperor increases armor by three. Nice. Uh, heroes without any skills are like an empty canvas. Yep. So we can kind of determine what kind of heroes we want by giving them, or I don't know if we can really give them skills because they have free will, so maybe they won't take that skill. And then we have heal. This is slow. So we have magic eye, slow, which does exactly as you think it would. Movement speed and attack speed is decreased for enemies within range. The gates we already know about. Haste, which is the opposite of slow and is good for friendly units. We have Fireball, which does damage to units and structures. It looks like a single unit. And then Ice Shackles, which does no damage, but makes it so they can't do any actions for the duration. I'm not sure how long that lasts. Lightning Strike, bring forth a deadly lightning strike. Okay, so this is an AoE damage and requires Castle 3. And then Tornado, con conjure a deadly whirlwind. Uh, and follows the path of your choosing. Interesting. I thought you were just going to click it and it would just kind of spin around, but it looks like we can actually choose where we want it to go. Now, does it do damage to friendly units as well? Because it doesn't actually specify just enemies. Uh, let's go over here. Maybe we'll build some more cottages over in this land over here. Like this. Sounds good to me. And maybe we will... Okay, we need to upgrade the castle, which in order to do that, I mentioned before, we need a marketplace. So we'll put the marketplace over... You know what? We'll put it over here. I'm not sure why I put it over here. I, I guess it's okay, but the further we get away from the castle, the higher the upkeep cost. We need to remember that. Otherwise, we'll probably go bankrupt, although we have a lot of money right now. So resources on islands. Interesting. So is there a whole bunch of gold on these islands? Actually, what did you find over here? So there is... Oh, there is gold over here. Okay. So there's wood. There's stone. A lot of stone, actually. Uh, a lot of coal. I don't know if that's a lot of gold. It's red for some reason. And 95 rubies. I'm not sure what rubies and diamonds are used for exactly. Looks like we need to build another... Another farm soon. Or we can upgrade this one if we upgrade our castle like this. That sounds like a plan. Because I think... It looks like the cost per day doesn't go up even when you upgrade it, which is an interesting mechanic because it seems like all the games that I've ever played before, when you upgrade something, the upkeep cost also increases. I don't know if they're going to leave that leave it that way for the entirety of the game. It's currently in early access, so maybe they'll change that later. What is this? Mill. The grinding stones of the mill will boost your ability to produce food. Interesting. Maybe we should build this. Whoa. That is not how I expected it to be created, but that's actually really cool. I like that. So certain buildings are made along the side. What is going on down below? Maybe the world was... It kind of looks a little hellish, like a hellish landscape down there. Did something explode? Did the earth explode? I'm not entirely sure what the storyline is for this game. I imagine there will be a campaign later on that might Shed some light on a lot of this stuff. So production bonus per worker, 0.1. So we have 10 workers here. So that's an extra bonus of 1? I mean, I guess that's okay. It doesn't use any more workers. So if workers are your limiting reagent, I suppose this is a good idea. And it looks like you can upgrade this too, but we need a farm level 3 first. Wow, we need some stones. Where are all these stones going? Okay. We just are not getting stones very fast. Let's go ahead and do this. We have a lot of gold. We have 41 gold right now. So maybe we will also do this. We'll... Okay. So that looks a little better. Um, we are still lacking in the food department. 
But once we build this, it should be okay? Question mark? Maybe? Oh, we're not going as fast as I wish we were. No? Oh, we need to increase it like this, and yes. So now we're okay. Can we upgrade this as well? Let's go ahead and do that. Maybe we will build... Build. Those are. That's a pronunciation that I did not want to make. Uh, we made a marketplace. Now, where did the marketplace? Did we build? We built it over here. Interesting. So, financial independence reduces a hero's daily wage in gold by 0.5. Okay. So instead of the blacksmith skills, we could also give it this kind of a skill. That's interesting. What about the explorer? He doesn't have any skill. I don't think he can get any skills. Explorer is not the best of fighters. He doesn't gain experience and can't tame flying creatures. He's the only unit that can perform geology, though. So he's like 95% useless? <laughs> I don't know. All right. So we have some... We have a lot of stone coming in now, which is great because we need it to upgrade a whole bunch of things. However, what do we want to build? House of Scholars. So this does what? Oh, it gives us points of progress. So this points of progress stuff... Maybe we should build that. So we could go ahead and build it down here, since we don't really have anything down here. We'll build that, and maybe set one or two workers on that. Looks like we have food issues again, so let's go ahead and maybe make another farm before we all starve to death. How do we get a lot of food, though? I thought we were, like, really low on food. Maybe... I actually don't know. I don't know. Um, what am I trying to make? <laughs> what? Oh, Jesus. A wild dragon! Um, excuse you? I, I feel like I'm ill-equipped for this. Uh, maybe we'll hire... No, let's upgrade this so we can get the next tier. Let's use a little bit of magic to... turn the tide of this. The explorers are fighting. Okay. You know what? Let's just bind him. Nice. Okay, you guys do your thing. And I want to make another farm. That sounds good. What is this? A coal mine. Not right now. Maybe we'll go up here with the farm. Oh, jeez. This guy is getting beat on. There you go. I healed you, buddy. You better not run away, dragon. I want your combat experience. Oh, jeez. Oh, there's something else coming, too? Alright, let's heal our friend yet. Okay. Well, we got three progress things for killing that. Interesting. Hunger can be a real threat. Yes, I know. I am trying to fix said problem. Go ahead and upgrade this. And that sounds good. Not a lot of gold coming in at the moment, but we have a lot of mana. W not too much wood and not too much stone, but I'm more worried about the food. So let's go ahead and focus on that a little bit. And... What can we do here? So we can sell stuff, it looks like. So if we had a bajillion amount of something, we could trade it for something else, which we don't really have a bajillion much of anything right now. That is also English that I did not think was going to come out of my mouth. Um, let's see, House of Scholars. We'll put one person on the House of Scholars. So that gives us 0.5 per day, I suppose. And then what's next? What do we want to do next? He's not really giving us any, like, tips anymore. He's just kind of like, oh, you're under attack. Oh, you suck at this. Oh, quit the game. Oh, delete your delete your uh, game files, etc. Uh, we could make another raven unit. So let's go ahead and... Wait, 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 wait. Why? Why you do this? Okay, let's recruit another knight. There were other... Maybe we'll make a marksman as well. So we'll put the marksman down here because it looks like... We're getting attacked down here quite a bit. Watchtower as well. Maybe we'll build a watchtower down here. Cost per day is five. Your empire is under attack, sort of. Like he's running away. You know what? <laughs> you don't get the runaway. Did you level up? Nice, you leveled up. Okay. Now you're tier two, where you... How did you become tier two though? You were tier one. So when we upgrade this, do you automatically become tier two? Anyway, let's go ahead and recruit another Raven, so we have another flying unit. I kind of wish they were a little bit faster. They're a little slow for, you know, flying units and whatnot. Oh, so now that we're Tier 2, we can have... looks like another skill slot. So... 
Can we upgrade this? We can. And that increases the skill tier. Interesting. Okay. Um, we need more stone. Hurry up and give me more stone. Go fast. Super fast. And can we... We can buy some stone if we wanted. So if we choose gold. 35 for 5 it looks like. Um, you know what? Sure. That is a weird noise. Like Tim the Toolman Taylor or something. Alright, Elkin Tassar tamed a wild Elkin... Excuse you? <laughs> what? Come again? You tamed yourself and you were wild? I, I don't actually know. Okay, so we cannot upgrade this anymore. Uh, we wanted to upgrade this, right. And then as soon as that was done, we wanted to try and upgrade... So we can only upgrade these individually. They don't all upgrade instantly. But what if we upgrade this? So increases damage by three and aura, and aura increases damage of the hero and all my allies by three. Now, do you have that? Or let's see. No, you only have Taste of Steel one. So maybe we will grab this. Oh. So this is where the diamonds come into play. Interesting. And armor. I wonder what this does. It probably just gives armor aura to everybody. Which might be okay. I don't know if we're really taking all that much damage at the moment. Okay, so next, let's go ahead and upgrade this to tier 2. And then we will recruit a marksman. However, shooting range. Okay. So for the knights, we have the blacksmith. And for the marksman, we have the shooting range makes sense. And for the wizards, we have the library. Okay. It's all falling into line here. I see the path of logic. And what do we have here? So increases damage to dealt to ravens. Increases damage dealt to buildings. Increases damage by five. Go ahead and grab one of these. And um, can somebody... Yeah. Why are you guys so slow? You guys are so slow. Is it because you were knights to begin with? Like, if I get a Marksman up on there? Are you faster? Man, you're slow. <laughs> okay, let's, uh... Oh, we can't. We need more iron. Really? Okay, so where... How do we do the iron stuff? Iron right here. Need to discover iron, though. Okay. So we'll need to... Did we already... Yeah, we already checked over here. There was no iron. Interesting. Okay, maybe there's some iron over here. We don't know... Maybe there's some iron down here. If you guys could hurry up and do that, that'd be great. I would appreciate it so very, very much. What do we have over here? Not much. Like, it doesn't seem like it's all that great, but maybe there's iron here. So it looks like there's a lot of stone, which is nice. So I guess we'll bring this one closer. Go ahead and toss them right in here-ish. <laughs> it's like they're bashing into each other. That can't be healthy. So are all these islands, were they, like, connected at one point? Were they... Is this, like, basically Pangea or whatever? Like, or was Pangea? What is this? Somebody get this. Okay, and it's gone. It disappeared. Thanks. Wh or did you maybe already get it and it just disappeared? I have no idea. Okay. Uh, let's use some of our... Wow, we have a lot. So let's go ahead and use a lot. I think we can zoom out and then do something like this. What do we got here? Another raven nest. Nice. Okay. So if you could, you know, attack this and get us some more... Excuse me, sir. Sir. Thank you. Oh. Well, <laughs> it looks like our explorer is fighting up there. You, you do you. Oh, that was quick. You're fine. Stop it. Okay, let's move this a little bit closer, I guess, then. Put it over here. We can get some more ravens. And it looks like in order to do that... Although, I don't know if we need to build a bridge. Yeah, I guess we can. Let's go ahead and build a bridge. Might as well. There might be something decent on this island. It looks like there's some wood. Maybe there's something else. Do we have any... Are you finding any iron? There was no iron. What about over here? There was some iron. Awesome. So let's go ahead and focus on that real quick. It looks like our money is starting to dwindle a bit, which is not all that happy. Um, however, we need... Oh, so this goes across along the edge, too. Interesting. Okay. So, we have... Can we make this yet? No, we need a hero tier one. What if we make... Recruit a marksman. Okay. 
Wow, we are losing some money at the moment. Okay, let's go ahead and... We have a lot of stone, so let's go ahead and turn down the production of that a little bit. And maybe we will upgrade a cottage? Question mark? Upgrade this one, since it is... Cottage level 1, this is level 2. And how are we gonna finagle this? Yes, I know my treasury empties. Uh, new deposits of diamond, interesting. So, we have enough food. Mm, we might have to turn down the wood a little bit here. Okay, so we'll turn it down to two. Jeez, that doesn't even help. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this. There we go. Now we're in the positive. Looks like our population is max right now. Housing shortage. I don't really want to build any more houses because I feel like we're just going to cause other shortages. So we are literally gaining no wood and no stone. Maybe we should put like at least one on here. And we need more iron. Okay, so we're barely making any money right now. However, I have a plan. Nobody said it was a good plan, but it is a plan. What if we look at these islands? And what if there is some kind of bounty? Like, here's a bounty. Yeah, somebody go get that. And what about over here? Eagle nest? Okay, so eagles, I wonder how those ones work? I wonder if they're stronger or faster. What is this? And a chest of coins. Somebody go grab that too. And it looks like Sword of Trials. A dragon nest? Oh, hell yeah. Okay. You are coming over here. And we are going to take over this dragon nest. We need to recruit another marksman. Okay. And then, let's see. We will go ahead and build a bridge over here. Like uh, this. And it looks like there's some barbarians here too, though. But if we can get a dragon to ride on, how awesome would that be? Uh, we are losing money again. Why? Why is this my life? We have... Not a lot. <laughs> Not a lot going on for us right now. Maybe we can, uh... Okay. That that leveled it out. Okay. Um, we don't need much wood right now, so maybe we'll just take... We need some iron, and we need some stone. We always need stone, and we definitely need iron. Okay, we're in the positive right now. Let's go ahead and focus on... Where, what are you, why, why are you doing this? Why are you like this, wild eagle? And we have... Let's go ahead and... Oh, we don't really have that much money. Although this doesn't take money. So, we can go ahead and do this. Is this... What? Why are you going past it, sir? Sir? <laughs> okay. So everybody's focusing on this. Let's go ahead and maybe make... One of these things. And we'll put it down here so it's pretty close. Okay. Go ahead and attack this, then. This is almost dead. Let's finish it off. You should get some experience. Nice. Now, are we going to be able to kill... We should be able to kill a dragon, right? We already killed a dragon. Amazing discovery. And you'll be able to tame dragons, flying creatures, blah, blah, blah. Tier 3 heroes, though. Um, okay. So, in order to do that, we have to upgrade our castle again. In order to... Okay, so in order to upgrade the castle again, we need to fortify. If we upgrade this, castle bonus. That's nice. I like that. Okay, how's it going down here, guys? Um, you're getting kind of beat up, so maybe stop that? Maybe we'll use this a little bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. And we'll heal you up. Alright, and then somebody can grab this. That'd be great. Okay, so we need rubies. Okay, rubies, rubies. Do we have any place that has rubies? We have rubies over here. Let's go ahead and build. It's going to be a very long video, but I think it might be a one-off, honestly. I'm not sure how developed this game is, but if you guys want me to play some more, go ahead and let me know. 
Huntsman 1. Increases damage dealt to Ravens by 20%. So a marksman happened to find a skill down here. Interesting. Okay. But we need iron. Let's trade some of our mana for iron. Can we do that? So we have 1,000. How much does... Oh, we can't trade it for iron. Why can we not trade it for iron? That is strange. Can we trade... Is there certain things that can only be traded? Or is it because there's no iron on this place over here? Or do we have to upgrade? Maybe we... Oh, you know what? We have to upgrade this, don't we? Interesting. Okay. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that then. How's the wood going? The wood is going crappily. Just saying it straight out. Uh, let's see. Money not looking great. Okay. As long as we stay positive, and I don't mean like positive mental attitude, I mean positive like we're not going into the red. Let's see. Oh, man, I want this so bad. <laughs> what are you doing down here? You're just making a campfire. Alright, so... Dang it. I want one. I want one person here getting all the rubies. How many rubies did it say? Did it say? 50. 50. Really? Okay. Um, is there maybe... What is this? This has gold. We already grabbed that. Maybe there's one of these treasures that has rubies in it? You know? Maybe? Okay, let's see. What do we got going on here? Did we... We unlocked iron. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this. Get some iron. Did it... Did the ratio change? Maybe when we upgraded it, the ratio... I'm not sure. I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this again. Get some more iron. I would love to get unlock rubies, but not so lucky. Let's go ahead and trade like 500. We'll need a lot of iron anyway. And we can upgrade this now, I believe. We cannot upgrade this because we have no money. Okay, can we sell mana for money? We can sell mana for money. 17 to 10 ratio. Go ahead and sell that much. And that should be enough. Great. And by upgrading this castle bonus, will that give us an extra five per day? Five mana and five gold. So when this completes, we'll go have to we'll have to see. And it does. Nice. That's awesome. However, there's gonna be more people living here now, which is going to unbalance all my things again. Okay, that's fine. I'll allow it. Uh let's see. Does this cost does this? No, it doesn't cost anything. Okay. Next. In order to upgrade this, we need stone. Oh, lord. There's a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> it's that... That, uh, vicious cycle. Wait, is this... Okay, these are my guys. Great. Uh, let's look over here. What is going on on this island? Looks like wild eagle nest. That's nice. And if we destroy it, or take it, we actually get rubies. So maybe we should actually do that? Go ahead and... Oh, you're already going over there. Nope, nope. Go ahead. You do you, bud. I'll, uh, I'll just be here. You go ahead. Uh, no? Okay. Well. Okay, then. Go attack that. Eagles. Oh, so these are tier 2. The ravens are tier 1. And these are tier 3. Nice. I bet these require rubies, though. Let's look around a little bit. Oh, this is the this is the one where you just create an island. Wow. Why don't we try this? I want to see see what happens here. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Most hospitable terrain. Oh, so we can change this into the grassy fields and stuff. So. What is this one? Like, is this good for the dark? No, it can't be for the dark elves, right? Maybe it's good for the dwarves later on. What are we in combat with? We still have that music, but why Why do we still have that music? Are we actually in combat with something? No, okay, it went away. So, did anybody... Oh, they did grab this. Nice. And this belongs to your empire now. Breed an eagle here. Okay, that's great, but, uh... Why well, is 20? Dang! I would love to get more... Fine. We'll... 
We'll try this a little bit. Speed up. Go faster! I would like to at least get an eagle. <laughs> but I think in order to do that, we'll have to make... At least... Ah, maybe we should just build a bridge. A bridge is only 17. It's not that expensive. Maybe build a bridge over this one too. Maybe there's some kind of nice... Something or another is over there. What do we have over here? Go ahead and do your geology. We already did geology over here. Go ahead and do your geology over here as well. And we'll make an eagle. So we have exactly, or had exactly. No, we didn't. I lied. I am a horrible liar. Uh, what do we have for abilities over here, though? We... Scouting increases vision range. Not inc incredibly interested in that. Looks like we have positive everything, or at least, you know, balanced. What do you find it over here? Looking for coal. Looking for coal. There was no coal. No coal over here either. What about over here? Any iron? Maybe rubies? Maybe diamonds? Because we do need those at some point. Crap. We have no stone. Okay. Crap. We're now negative. <laughs> Dang. It is. Whoa. That is not what I want to do. Wait, what? Excuse you? Oh. This garbage. And to repair it costs 30 per day. Okay, did you mount the eagle? You did mount the... Yes? Question mark? Yes. Yes, you did. Alright. Looks like you have pretty decent damage. 16.8. What do you have? Knights have a lot more damage. But they're also not ranged. Okay. You know what? Screw you. Came all the way over here. Oh, you know what? We forgot about this. Okay, so decreases building upkeep cost by one gold. So that's for every single building that's reduced by one. That is like really good. Decreases spell cost by 20%. That is also good. Doubles your spell casting range? Holy crap. Uh, allows you to charge your gates with mana, preventing them from self collapsing. Oh, so you can like extend the time on them or something? And I guess there's kind of a tier or a hierarchy, it looks like. Where we need to get this one first and then we can get this. Uh, Arcane Foundation, you're building slowly self-repair without any additional cost. That's okay. Uh, decreases negative impact of overpopulation on your reputation. What? Is, where is my reputation? I just see like... Yeah, I don't know if that's actually implemented into the game yet. But supposedly your reputation has to do with how fast you your population increases. Doubles the speed of your population growth. I have no problems with population growth. <laughs> In fact, maybe we should cut down. Like, one one child per family. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and grab this. And then we have a little bit left over. So that helped with our gold. And then increases your unit's vision range. So this is for warfare, magic, and economy. I feel like economy is our biggest. Increases food production, wood and stone, by 0.2 per worker. That is actually pretty good. I think I might want to do that. And increases production of all mines. Dang. Increases experience gained? Um, this is also decent, but maybe not right now. Yeah, let's go ahead and do... Or we could go with this one. Now, does it, it decrease it by the one plus the two, or is it just two total? That is a question I would like answered. Maybe they could put in parentheses like total or like cumulative uh let's go ahead and go with this one that's nice and i think that might actually do it for me today guys thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please do give a like and leave a comment down below saying what you liked about this game if you would like to see more of it and if you want to see more videos like this please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys next time